As hot as it's been, but still warm, as Marcus just mentioned, that means more and more student athletes taking part in summer activities could be at risk for heat exhaustion. Uh, so much of a concern that state law will change in less than two weeks to make sure all coaches in the state know how to handle it. Our State House Bureau Chief David Williams just got back from a very hot football field. He's here to explain. David? It was hot. The U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention said heat related illness, this stuff right here, can kill if it isn't properly diagnosed or treated. That's why coaches and even athletes themselves tell me they think this new law could help a lot of people. You're the rabbit and you get caught. 18 year old senior James Baker's heart and soul is on this football field along with his teammates. He knows the sun can be brutal. It's a mental thing. You have to get through it mental. He plays guard for one of Indiana's largest high schools, the Ben Davis High School Giants. As long as we get water in and a little break here and there, a little helmet off, then we're, we're good. He's going to start both of them. He knows his coaches and trainers make sure all the athletes like him stay safe and watered up. Well, we make sure we have uh, planned water breaks throughout practice. Um, there are times where we will take pads off just to, to decrease the amount of sweat. Um, and, and, and days like Monday where it's really, really humid, really hot in the 90s, um, those are days where we're going to limit the amount of time that we have um, and, and maybe do some different things inside as far as conditioning goes. Kick, kick, kick. Starting July 1st, state law will require school coaches to take an online certified one-hour heat-related illness course at least every two years. Athletic trainer Amy Baker believes this will also help smaller rural schools who might not have quick access to medical professionals. It'll help them because the coaches will be more aware of what to look out for and it's something small and his colleagues already take via the IHSAA small took his the other day we take a, a concussion test a heat, a heat illness test and then a, a variety of other ones back on the field Baker believes the new law will help students like him too if something happens to us on the field they'll be ready like they'll know what to do and fully train so the lawmaker behind this bill, Mr. Bacon, told us his previous bill, which is now law, already requires concussion training. I'm David Williams for CV News 8.